beyond guitar. The whole idea is to get deeper into our involvement with our art and uh, approach it in such a way so that when we go on stage and perform it or go in the studio and perform it or whatever, that we're digging into areas that are absolutely as far as we can go with ourselves and then expressing from that perspective. Hello there, another day, we're all still alive. That's pretty exciting. I just bought this guitar this morning from a really great guy who owned it after another person uh, evidently acquired it from me uh, back in the early 80s, I think he said. And uh, evidently I had traded this for a bunch of recording studio time. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, this guy that bought it had it all these years and uh, he was offered more than twice as much as what I paid him for it, but he wanted me to have it. Isn't that just really great. So thank you, Joel. Uh, it's a significant guitar because it was the first 12 string that Ovation made and Bill Command signed it uh, and presented it to me personally. So uh, it's got number one on it. And these guitars were uh, really, really special. They put a lot of uh, technology and thought and care into the creation of these guitars. And this one is just mint. It's been cared for really well. So I'm just very, very happy to have it back. <clears throat> now, one of my favorite Patreon subscribers asked that I show her the uh, details of playing Love Alive. So <clears throat> even though the intro isn't played on 12 string, I'll play it on this guitar, just because. And then another thing about my guitar, Beyond Guitar series, I don't usually do close-ups or tab or any of that stuff. My thought is that it's most important to learn things by ear and by sight, but when you learn things by ear, you not only train your ear more, which is a real valuable strength to have, but you feel the essence of that performer's performance. And when it's the original artist, it's really special because you can't get that in tab. You can't get it from any other person, only from the person that created that part. So <clears throat> I really uh, like this way of doing it, of teaching. And it's also very simple. It doesn't take so long. So the intro I don't I do the intro differently all the time with whoever whatever group of people I'm with sometimes it'll just be a jam that we do singing comes in, that gets uh, simplified too. So that's very simple. You can pick that up pretty easily from that, I think. And then the little tie together lick goes.
And then that's all it does up until the bridge. Now the bridge, to me, this is just magical. I clearly remember the moment when I composed it uh, up on the roof of the house where I'm living in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, with my, uh, it's, the house is a, a rental by my uh, luthier friend, Ed Myronick. I'm up on the moss covered roof. Sun is about that angle on a sum, summer day. It's beautiful. I'm just up there just playing, playing away. And all of a sudden I land on And when I perform it live, <laughs> I'm right there on that roof. Because when I landed on that, fireworks, explosions were going off inside me. The, the sky turned all colors of the rainbow. Anything physical was melting. Time stopped. It was a beautiful moment. <laughs> so when you play this, if you perform this live, go back to, to this moment. You're, you're on a roof facing the sun and you're in ecstasy. <laughs> So those chords are, it's basically a, a, a C chord, only you're just playing those three notes of it. Open A and open E, up to a D, down to a D sus2, right? D tus, sus2, only those three strings, second, third, and fourth, and up to an E sus2. Easy enough. And so then it goes to uh, E no thirds, one five one or one five eight, whatever you want to call it. And then invert that, and that gives you a, a E nine seven. And then a A. That would be uh, A9. It's got the E bass. And, and then another A9 up here. So. G that six, I think, right? Yeah, G six. So whole thing sounds like and then that's a G, right? Yeah, G. That inverted E, which is uh, the the nine seven, and this G is a, probably a six again. Yeah, so and you gotta put your spear in the middle. And so many people say. Oh, after Roger left, it just wasn't the same anymore. Was well, because I put this spirit into it. You know, you gotta have that spirit in there. Yeah. So uh, that's that's all that part. That's all good. So then you uh, <clears throat> you want to slide down. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now it's that, uh, it's just like that C chord, but now you're leaving the third string open. Up a whole step. I've got arthritis, I'm sorry. It's just it's not as easy as it used to be. Nancy taught me this chord. It's a, a E without any thirds. So useful. So neutral. So, uh, yeah. I play it live now is and then I, I play it on a six string and I finger pick it but Thank you. 